have a look at Cologne View. Good place to any to start this vlog, isn't it? So we stood here, at the front, of this rather large tower. We're gonna go up there, have a look at the city. But before you join me, let me show you how I got here. It's Stansted Airport, six o'clock in the morning. Right on top of the multi-story car park. There's our bus. Yeah, so we've made it here to Cologne, as it's known in this part of the world, Cologne, in England and France. So if you're doing public transport, you come out the Eternal Mall, which is just in front of us there, look. You walk along this path here, following the signs. And then into this building here, this will take you directly into Cologne, so they tell me. I'm going to wait for my train and I'll see you when I get on. Yeah, so we're up here, top of the Cologne view. Lovely view, look at the bridge. Probably the best view in the city of the cathedral there, look. Not really clear day today, mind. It's pretty high up, 28 storeys. Five euros each to get up here. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice view. Yeah, so we're right up there. Back down on the floor now. All the way down here. About to cross this rather iconic bridge. I'm not gonna pronounce it. I'll put the name on the bottom of the screen there. It's famous for this. Because it has a couple of locks. <laughs> Locked onto the rails here. Just one or two. All the way along. Look at that, it's mad. We was going to bring a padlock with us, but we forgot. So these are love locks. People write their name, their love on there. And traditionally, you host your keys over into the water to lock your love away forever. As you can see, virtually every spare inch has been taken. Oh, and it's a train bridge as well. Yeah, that's cool. We're going to cross over this bridge on our way to the cathedral, which you can see is over there. So I'll get there and I'll see you in a second. Insane number of locks. <laughs> I've never seen so many padlocks. It's mad. And it goes on all the way over there. Crazy. No, I don't claim to be a religious man, but that's an impressive building. The architecture on there is amazing. Stoneworks are believable. It's an impressive structure. All right, let's take you for a little look inside, shall we? Cologne Cathedral.
It's also a unique thing to do here in Cologne is the time VR ride. We've done it, we didn't go in, we didn't film you it because it's a VR ride, there's not much I can film. It was amazing, it's a historic tour throughout Cologne, 1926. Not cheap. Ah, looks quintessentially German to me. Let's give Papa Joe's beer saloon a go for lunch, shall we? Yeah. So Escalops. Okay. What are you going for? What you got there? We went for cream cheese and tomatoes. Cream cheese and tomatoes with some pretzels. We got some Kolsch. And I've gone for the Escalops. Look delicious. <laughs> How cool is this? Animatronics in the bar. Yeah, this is a cool little bar. I'll show you some more animatronics in a minute. Die Kundin? Das macht gar nichts. Suchen Sie mir einfach die drei Ältesten aus. Die Marktfrau unterdrückt ein Schmunzeln und kommt dem Wunsch der Kundin nach. Darf ich die Hühner gleich einpacken? Da antwortet die Kundin. <lacht> Nein, danke. Ich nehme die anderen drei. <lacht> It's been a few years since I've seen some of these. So you put your coin in, spin your little wheel, and you get an old school erotic movie. Also, look at these old school machines here. This is one of the coolest bars I've ever been to. Yeah, the decor in here is amazing. Look, you got a robot. Bar across the back. And a grip test machine here. I haven't got any change on me. If not, I'd give it a go. And we had an amazing meal in here as well. Really enjoyed it. If you're in Cologne, I'd recommend this place. Yeah. German tram. <laughs> Boring, isn't it? But I thought I'd show you. Yeah, but on a serious note, ever so easy. German public transport's phenomenal. Look, really, really good. We bought the 24 hour five person ticket. Covers you anywhere in the whole of the Cologne Central area for 15 20. Highly recommended. We're going to check out Aqualand Fritzen Park here. Good prices, open till 11 pm. We're about six o'clock now. Six or seven slides inside. Check out Tube Rides on YouTube. He's got all the slides on there, as my sparks. Yeah, it looks good. I'll let you know what you think when we get out. Back now for my visit to Aqualand. We had a good fun time in there. Good three or four hours spent. Enjoyed this slide the most. The boomerang slides, good fun. The trapdoor slides, a bit scary. Heated water, lovely, lovely place. Highly recommended if you're this way. What a beautiful morning view. Good morning, V-Gates. That's about it for German for me. About seven o'clock in the morning here in the beautiful German city of Cologne. Come for a wander around this morning, couldn't sleep. Up on top of the Chocolate Museum, up on the mighty River Rhine. So I'd give you a little view. The skyline of this wonderful city. We've got the cathedral over there, look. Dominating the skies, hundreds of years after it was built. There's the Lovelock Bri Bridge. The observation tower in the background there. Some wonderful architecture around this city. I mean, just for an example, I'm not sure what this building is, but it looks impressive. Yeah, well, I'm going to get down and show you a look from the outside of the Chocolate Museum. Unfortunately, it's shut today. I'm not really sure why, so we're not going to get to go in there. But I'll give you a little look around the outside, and we'll continue our tour around this streets of Cologne. Yeah, it's at the front now. Can you guess what Chocolate Museum this is? Do you anyone recognise them bears? Yeah, like I say, it's closed today. I think it's something to do with the carnival they're having in Cologne in the next couple of days they're setting up for. So, so yeah, here's the Chocolate Museum on a little island just along the Rhine. Looks good. If anyone's been, let me know in the comments if it's if it is good. And just a stone's throw from the Chocolate Museum, you have the Deutsche Sport and Olympia Museum. It's too early in the morning, it's closed right now. If it's open later I'd like to look around. But we'll see proud sport and history the Germans have. So rightly so there should be a big museum dedicated to it. And look at there, look, in the window. What can I spy there? Pretty sure that's an old Benetton F1 car. 
Let's have a look at the window, shall we? See if we can see it. Be a bit, be a bit cheeky. Oh yeah, look. I'm guessing that's Schumacher's old car. The one he won the world championship in. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like a look in there, but it's time. We'll see if we get the time. Yeah, so like I say, just down the road from the Chocolate Museum, the Deutsche Sport and Olympia Museum. Again, let me know if you've been in the comments. Is it good? I'd like to know. Up in the old dock area on another bridge now. I'll show you this. Reminiscent of the past here, which I like the fact they've left. Got renovated and replaced it with these funky looking buildings. I love the way they've made them look like a crane to stay with the history and heritage of the place. Some good architecture there. I like that. It's good, isn't it? It's cool. Quite to show you. Yeah, also worth noting, there's lots of street art around Cologne. Classly done on lots of the buildings. This is just one example here. Our accommodation here in Cologne, Premier Inn. <laughs> and they are very similar to the ones in the UK, so it felt a bit weird. Nice hotel though, I'd recommend it. Like I say, I'll put all the prices to everything we did at the end of this vlog, so keep watching and you'll find out how much it cost. Not really a thing theme park marks into, but I thought I'd share with you. Cologne is a phenomenal shopping city. It's really good, independent, branded, lots of good stores and pedestrianised. Thought I'd show you. Yeah, our time in Cologne is about ended. That's why I show you the cathedral one more time. And right outside the cathedral, we've got the main Bahnhof, Cologne Central Station here. And then you're about 13 minute tram, train ride back to the airport. Very simple. Yes, this is us. Wrapping up my vlog. Back at Cologne Bon Airport with my bus home. Take us back to Stansted tonight. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour around Cologne, showing you some of the highlights of this wonderful city. I've really enjoyed our time. I'd recommend a visit. Like I say, stay tuned to the very end and I'll put up the prices of everything we did so you'll have an idea how much this little trip costs. Again, thank you for joining us. See you guys again in the next vlog.